Tick, 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 coming to you from Saskatchewan here this morning. And this morning we will be talking about the greater guy. Have you noticed the poor bastard that runs these things is always at fault, no matter what's happening in the RM? Every single row of the RM that plowed the morning after a snowstorm, blame the greater guy. Oh yeah, go figure. Seven o'clock in the morning, road's not plowed yet. Probably driving around the countryside with the blade up. <laughs> Could you imagine if the greater went everywhere with the blade down? There would only be a five mile radius of roads graded around the town of Foam Lake. Another common complaint is to call the grader guy out for excessive coffee breaks. Oh yeah, yeah, 9.30, gotta pull her over for a coffee break. Heaven forbid you miss it. <laughs> Funny thing is, the farmer usually complains about the grader operator's excessive coffee breaks while they're having coffee at the elevator. Grader complaint number three, road not properly graded. So this is the time where the farmer picks apart the job that the grader operator has done. And in every case, the farmer becomes a seasoned grader operator. Canadian pipeline. Oh yeah, see they're going way too fast here. That's why it's so rough. Way too fast for the grader. Yeah, didn't have the blade down far enough here. That's what's wrong. Not down far enough. Oh yeah, pull all the grass out of the ditch and put it onto the road. That'll fix things, yeah. I scraped all the gravel off the road and threw it in the ditch. What am I paying taxes for here? Well, all the wrong pitch here. Wrong pitch. Yeah, now the water is going to pool on the road instead of shedding into the ditch. Oh, yeah. Heaven forbid we spend a few minutes on a rail crossing to make it manageable. Now, most of this is followed by the farmer stating, well, maybe I should get on that thing and show them how it's done. Could you imagine what would happen if they let one of the guys complaining about how poorly the grader is run actually get in the grader and try to run it? Uh, there are a lot of uh, levers in here and stuff. Uh, holy. Meanwhile, the farmers that are busy complaining about the grader operator are the ones trying to sneak an extra three ton per load to the elevator, and the grader operator is just doing his best to keep it from turning into absolute and complete garbage. This is Quick Dick McDick signing off, reminding you, if you went down the road and didn't or barely made her, the first person you blame is the guy driving the grader. <laughs> Catch you next time. Hey, hey, what's going on, folks? Okay, that was a new one uh, that I just did here with uh, Cargill uh, a couple days ago here, so I uh, figured I'd put it up for you guys to see it. And I'm going to throw a few more short, quick Dick McDicks up here for those people that don't follow me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. If you're not on any of those social media platforms, good for you. <laughs> I'll keep putting them up to YouTube for you every now and then and, uh, and just keep putting them out. So hope everything's good in the new year with you folks. Let's get to another short, quick Dick McDick. Hello. My name's Quick Dick McDick, and for the last 37 years, I've been a dick. Hi, Dick. It's uh, not easy being a dick. Sometimes I'm a little bit of a soft dick, but it's mostly in the mornings. You can catch me sometimes looking at pictures of rescue dogs, thinking they're cute. Sometimes I'm a hard dick, especially when I'm trying to stick my pin in a hole. Yeah, you son of a bitch! Uh, I became a hairy dick about a year and a half ago, and it's a split decision. Some people like it and some people don't. Don't even get me started on what you have to call every single selfie that you send somebody. Think about it. It's because they're all dick pics. It's not easy being a dick, but I'm trying. Good, Good job. job. Try and laugh a bit. It's Quick Dick McDick signing off. Catch you next time. Hey, these are short, quick dick McTicks. We're not going to be messing around. One more to go here. You've seen it from last fall if you follow me on all these other garbage social media platforms. And if not, here you go. A short, quick dick McTick. Quick dick McTick coming to you from Saskatchewan here today, reminding you not to jump to conclusions. Let us use this phone call as an example.
apple. Well, it had been a while since I had my hands on a rack like that, so it was two pokes and a quiver, and then I prematurely dumped my load. Now hold on, let's have a closer look. So that's a hay rack, you don't see them like this very often. All the bars are there and not bent, there's air and all the tires and all the planks are even on the deck. Quiver refers to the agricultural technician's bottom lip as he tries to wheel 60 feet of tractor trailer over an approach that was made for 30 feet of body job grain truck. Prematurely dumping your load happens when you fail to navigate said approach properly. Shit! This is Quick Dick McDick signing off reminding you hearing something and jumping to a conclusion is not always the best solution. We'll get you next time. That's all she wrote for this week, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out my website, quicktickmcdick.ca. All little quicks merch is on a big, huge sale right now. Uh, get it while it's hot. And uh, we'll keep throwing some stuff up every now and then. Uh, hope everything's good with you. Take care, my friends. Ciao for now.